Well, just I just want to make sure that you're open to it first to talk to us about the whole like you know cockfighting incident because they said that you were arrested yeah, the for. The thing with the cockfighting is this, right? I'm from Puerto Rico. Okay. I don't even know the law in here. When that happened, I used to fire a couple of cocks in here, you know. Get to find out how dangerous it is and how illegal it is, I stop it. Right? But look what I got. They multiply. Right? Yeah. You want to take a look at one that, that the 11 chicks from yesterday? It's right there. Yeah. He came to pick me up now to go and buy Purina, medicated, right? And more corn for these animals. I gave it away. You want some? No, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. But Okay, because I don't gonna kill them. So what you're saying- you know, I love this, this is like, like my pets, mm. my entertainment, you know? And I love them. They don't run away from me, they come to me. I used to do it. Yeah. But I believe it was like, like it was in my country. It's not. Mm. So in what you're saying is in 2022 in February and in March that that was that know. you were cockfighting then, but you don't you no longer do it now. I don't know. That was enough. But I don't know that was illegal. That was that, that was going to bring me all these problems. Mm. That's why I don't talk to you when I get out of there. You know, but yeah. people see you federal court. Chicken fight, they, they make a big deal out of it. Mm. But they really don't know. Mm. I'm a slave of these animals. Mm. I gotta wake up in the morning, clean the cages, clean water, good food. They get sick, I gotta go and buy antibiotics. And what I get in return? Mm. The pleasure of having my animals. So now, if somebody loved it, it's not you, but you. It's this one, I see how that feeling. And you wanna see something? You wanna see the pigeons up there? Watch them. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> they eat more than that. Sometimes they got a hundred in there. Yeah. But they come. So let me ask you this. All kind of birds. Do you do you feel overwhelmed with all of these roosters, all of these? Right now I here? am. I don't eat it. How come you gonna it's like eating a kid? Hmm. Okay. And so what do you want people to take away from this whole matter, this whole case with the chickens and with the roosters? I just want, you know, people to, because people get the first impression, you know. This guy is a criminal, you know, he's a racketeer, you know. I was all that in my past, you know. I consider myself a decent, a decent person. That's why you're talking to me here, because I can hire, I ain't got nothing to hide. Mm. I have nothing to hide. Yeah. And so what do you hope? What I did was wrong. In my country, they got call it sounds. Mm -hmm. And we go and do it. I've been here 50 years. Yeah. And when that when this happened, I just start to do it. So then when I, I find out, boom, I stop. Mm. Simple as that. So the, let me ask, why plead not guilty today then, if you're saying that you did do it then, but you no longer do it now? But why are you gonna plead guilty when I got a lawyer to advise me not guilty? Mm -hmm. He's the one that will plead for me, not me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else that you would like you the know, people to? Because uh, then I'm guilty, I am, mm. for what I did. Mm. Right? No problem. Mm.